Hi, are you struggling with your online courses being a little boring? Well, in this lesson, we're learning all about H5P. It's a technology that makes your online courses a little more fun, a little more engaging. Students learn a lot faster and a lot more. Hi, I'm Angel from RT Course Experts, and we help creative online course teachers with their tech. In this lesson, we're learning all about H5P technology. What is it? Why use it? How to use it? And then we'll go over an example, and finally, we'll summarize all our top tips. What is it? It's a component technology that lets you add fun and engaging elements to your online courses. So you add this H5P thing to your system, and then you just like kind of a menu, you drag and drop these extra little goodies into your system, and then your courses become interactive. They start moving. What is it? Well, H5P is this component technology. Basically, you're adding these tech components to your online courses, and instead of just being straight up text or just straight up videos or slides, they, you can now add these interactive elements. Why would you use H5P? Well, interactivity helps many students have much more fun while learning and applying content faster. So it's not as boring, they're getting feedback, they're learning step by step, it's a little more fun, they're solving problems, and they're leveling up at their own pace. Why use it? Well, interactivity helps students have more fun while learning and applying content faster. It's not passive, it's not boring. They're learning, they're testing, they're gaming, they're doing all these little steps to learn and instead of just being drowned in information. So let's get into the how-to guide, first from the teacher's point of view of integrating and then uh, actually using the different content types. So H5P, actually means five package. So it's a component, right? It's this module, this widget that you add to a part of your online course. So there's these different kinds of things and we'll get into that in a second. In order to get your LMS, your online course working with HP, you're gonna need some sort of integration or a plugin. At, underneath it is this HTML, so it's gonna work on almost any browser, right? Mobile, tablets, desktops, but you just gotta make sure that it's integrated with the system so that you as an author, you can go ahead and access all the H5P different kinds of content types. So once you have H5P working on your system, you're gonna see a bunch of different content types. And we'll get into them in a second. So things like quizzes or drag and drop, you know, image match to images, etc. So once you add a particular thing like a quiz, you're then going to configure it. So you drag and drop the quiz, and then you add items like here are the questions, here are the answers, and you configure it. Or hey, let me upload images for each of the different types of things in maybe my flashcards or puzzles. So you're dragging and dropping the basic components, the type of interactive elements, and then you go and you can configure that interactive element. And remember, interactive is just so much better than passive, you know? So remember, interactive is so much better than passive. You're gonna fall asleep, you're gonna just hear somebody, you know, talking head for 15 minutes at a time, getting interactive every five, 10, 15 minutes with, with some, you know, even just clicking a mouse to go to the next section of a PowerPoint or the next video, that is better than just being there and just uh, being a zombie on, on some online course. Even if you're interested, it's just way better to, to introduce interactive in your online courses. Gamification is gonna make it fun, right? They're, they're gonna start getting scores. Hey, you got seven out of 10 right or let's see if you learned this right, and you know, great job, you got it, awesome, right, 100%. So just adding gamification, adding interactivity to your online courses, especially for us creators. So some of the different content types you can add are, there's a whole bunch of different content types, but some of them could include quizzes, hotspots, 
right, where you move the mouse or you touch something and some pop-up information shows up, or maybe it's a picture. Interactive presentations, so instead of just a slide deck that's at a time rate, they're actually choosing to go to the next section, the next lesson, the next module. Videos that have embedded quizzes in them or flashcards or memory games that not, not only have words, but could have pictures or videos or an audio. You can do stuff with timelines, right? So there's a handful of images that are there, five images, which comes first and what is the right order of those things? And again, for us creative teachers, it could be used for lots of different fun stuff to make learning a lot more fun instead of just explaining what we need for our students. And you could do some really advanced stuff, you know, virtual 360 graphics, right? A whole tour. It could be a tour of a place, like a music studio, or it could be a tour of a specific device, like maybe all around a sewing machine. So lots of different options there that you can do with these interactive elements that you can add to your online courses. Now let's check out an example. So in this example, we're gonna add interactivity to a maker course. So let's just say it's a maker course about cricket. My wife loves her cricket, always making all sorts of cool stuff at home. And let's just say you have a course teaching cricket stuff and there's these tools, right? This happens in a lot of our different industries where there's tools and at the different levels, especially intermediates, those students need to learn their toolbox for that creative trade. So in this case, we have these Cricut tools, where we've just taught them, maybe we went over a couple of, maybe we went over a lesson that went over each of the tools, and at the end of that, we're gonna just check them out and they can try out to see if they know the names of all the tools. So we could show a picture that has the tools and their number, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we can have a, maybe a drag and drop column. So you have uh, number one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you got these names, you know, scissors, tweezers, spatula, weeding, scraper, right? So you have these tools and with pictures, you have these words and students could drag and drop. They could be interactive, they could be sounds, they could be colors, green for good. And, pink or red or orange for try again. Lots of different fun things that we can do as creative teachers with these interactive tools, right? Even with this one simple tool, you can use it in a variety of different ways to make your courses a lot more engaging and interactive and fun instead of just listening to talking head and then you walk and then you swivel chair you start looking at your, your toy or whatever it is that you're trying to do, the, the art pad or whatever, you haven't even started. So this sort of gives the students that, those baby steps, to start building the confidence so that when the time comes that they are ready to start doing that thing, they, they've already got a little bit of an engagement going. So H5P is gonna make learning fun, adds a lot of value to your online courses, it's not available in every platform, but now you've heard of it, be on the lookout, and little by little, you'll start adding these different... So let's summarize. H5P, HTML5 package. It's these little HTML elements. Think of it like a website where you have like a button and a calendar, but instead of you're adding these different little basic elements, they're quizzes and games and flashcards that you can add to your online courses. Once you add it, you then specify the data. What's the text? What's the images, et cetera? And now your quiz, and now your online course comes alive. Not every system supports it, but little by little, H5P will start being available, and now you know all about it. And anytime you can make your online courses a little more interactive, that's a good thing. Whether it's chunking your images, chunking your decks, adding quizzes or really going ahead and adding some fun stuff where they can touch and see pop-ups and stuff happens on a timer and all, all these different things that, that could make uh, games, that could make online courses a lot more fun. So now you're a lot smarter on H5P and how to make your online courses interactive. To learn more, check out the info and links in the notes. If you're loving this stuff, subscribe to keep leveling up your creative business.
And if you need any tech help with your courses, community, or teacher website, visit www.rtcourseexperts.com. Thanks for hanging out. Let's stay in touch.